Hi Goa and a big welcome to this preview of one of the most popular events that is about to unfold in Goa. If you are into fitness and into fun as well, then a fabulous event that happens in Goa every year is just less than 48 hours away. And I'm talking about the Goa Marathon that's being brought to you by El Shaddai and Goa Athletic Association. Sunday, 12th February, from the Goa University grounds, wake up early and get there because from 6 a.m. in the morning, the marathon is going to be flagged off. But before you get there, I would like you to know the man who has been behind this Goa marathon for so many years now. Let's meet up with Matthew Kurian in his office. All right, I'm with, you, uh, with a person who uh, is uh, known for many causes, but one of the most important ones uh, is uh, the Goa Marathon, which is coming up uh, in, in just a few days now. Matthew Kurian, welcome to the show. Thank and, you. Uh, Goa has, has known you as a person who has run for many causes. So this is yet another uh, cause that you have run for and uh, you have brought it for Goa and so many people around the country. So it's nice to know about the 10th edition of the Goa Marathon. So what, what can you tell us and uh, tell our viewers about uh, this edition 2023? Okay, I started Goa Marathon with the intention of health and well-being. Uh, 10, 11 years back, I was putting on weight and I was really coming near to 100, 97, 98 kilos. And every time I stand in front of the mirror, I used to dislike myself. <laughs> and I love clothes and I couldn't wear any nice clothes because my stomach stands out and face becomes so round. And I start thinking that this can't be right. And my doctor, whom I used to go every year for medical checkup, he said, Matthew, why are you coming and giving me 25, 30,000 every year? Uh, you are not making any progress. You are going down day by day. Why don't you make mutual fund instead of coming and giving the hospital, put in the bank so your family can get benefited? So he kind of gave me a shock treatment. Yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, it was like uh, uh, a reality check. A reality check. So I came out and my cholesterol level was very high. He sent me to Fortis Hospital. I did check and thankfully there was no cholesterol deposit in my heart valve, so I didn't have to do the stent. But at the same time, I was like a walking bomb. So I said I must do something about it. So I came out thinking what to do. And Mumbai Marathon and other marathons I had. So I, I asked myself, why don't I start a marathon? Because Goa has had no marathon in those days. Today we have three or four or five marathons happening every year. So I came back with a plan of setting up the marathon, which motivates me to get myself fit. So I got some friends with the Habitat for Humanity, Bits Pilani. So I spoke to these guys and we started our first marathon together with the Habitat for Humanity and Bits Pilani with the theme of running for home and hopes. Basically, our concept was whatever fund we raise, we use that to build houses for the poor and we are still doing the same. So I got to the first marathon and I did 5K. This time I'm doing 10 kilometers. I want to do 21 half marathon. Um, and the whole purpose of this marathon is to build an awareness in the lives of the people about the health and well-being. And of course, we love to make uh, some fun uh, through this, which will completely go for the welfare of the poor. This year, we are organizing marathon with one idea of zero waste management. That means there will be no waste created. All the waste that we are going to create in this marathon, we are going to collect more waste from the Panjim city and we are going to convert them into bricks. And with those bricks, we are going to build houses for the people. So that's a whole concept of marathon. So this is a very novel idea, it's a very inspiring thought. And guess what? In 10 years, I lost more than 40, 15 kilos. So that Absolutely. was very good. Fabulous. Uh, so uh, looks like there is uh, something for everyone. It's not only a novel idea, but a noble idea as well. And uh, it's virtually age no bar, gender no bar, 
Yeah. Uh, and you know, there's something for everyone. So tell us about the categories that. Uh, are so this on year offer. we are doing half marathon. That's 21 kilometer, starting from Goa University down to Miramar. And uh, next year we are planning to go for the full marathon. That's 42 kilometers. So this year we have a 21k, 10k, which both are for the professional runners. It has uh, electronic chip and beam and electric max plates and it's all digitally. Then we have 5k for the new people or people who are not so fit. Yeah. Uh, that's called dream run. Then we also have a number of school runs for the school. For the, all, all these runs are for prizes. So there's something uh, for everyone, uh, as I said. And uh, uh, Matthew, can you tell us about uh, two or three success stories of the past uh, 10 editions? You know, someone came up to you and said, oh, I've, I've changed my habits, my lifestyle after this marathon. You know, it's, it's surely a learning process for so many. Yeah. Uh, see, all of you guys, listen, there's no point in making a lot of money and working hard <laughs> if you don't look after your health. It's, it's being blessed is one thing, but enjoying the blessing is another thing. If you don't look after your health and if you go on working and eating and sleeping and all this kind of thing, you're going to have a short life. You may go off in between, in the middle. So health is very important and I encourage everyone to take focus on the health before you make the wealth. You may lose your health in making wealth, then you spend all your wealth, you can never get your health back. So this marathon is all about creating an awareness among the people about the health. So when you want to run a marathon, you can't just get up on Sunday morning and say, I'm going to go for a marathon. You need a lot of preparation is requ required. We have companies uh, registered with us, fitness uh, studios and uh, professional coaches who can train you to run for Ironman, for mar go mar marathons like Goa Marathon. So, we, our whole purpose is health and wellness, to create an awareness. So, a number of successful stories. If you talk to a marathoner, professional marathoner, almost all of them have stories. I have a friend, Venkat Raman. He, used to be, he was involved with me in last year marathon. He was an accountant, very successful in Mumbai, made a lot of money. And one fine morning, he couldn't get, in, get up in the morning and he went for a checkup. He realized that he was on the brink of a heart attack. Oh. So he had to get hospitalized and he had to have massive open heart surgery. So he, for him, it was a wake up call. He was very successful, well connected, but no health. It was a wake up call. He came out, his accountancy practice, and he started going for marathon. Today, he set up a company called You Two Can Run and who are partners with us and uh, he goes to almost every marathon coaching people training and he himself ran so i got number of friends like that who whose life has changed because of marathon so my purpose of talking is that each of you need to develop a healthy habit of exercising even today morning i finished one hour 20 minutes walk run mix before i came here <laughs> Every day I leave the house. I get up 4.30 in the morning, 6.30, 7, I'm out of the house. I exercise, then only I go to work. Your health comes first, not your wealth. I got a lot of friends who made a lot of wealth, then they had to leave everything to some unknown people, or some strange people, or maybe your own children. And you have no idea what they're going to do with it. I have another friend, Jerry, he passed away. And he made a lot of wealth, built a beautiful house in four acre land mansion. He had things imported from everywhere, but his health failed. His health failed and um, untimely death. And I was there for his funeral. Everybody was complaining about uh, and, uh, how silly he was and things. I, I had to tell them, look, you all are standing on the property he developed. But he didn't do good for himself. He did good for so many people. And maybe he was unaware as well. Yeah, at least sometimes you know this greed for power and money. Yeah. Once it gets in, and it goes more, 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 more. You want more, you want more. Nobody want knows more. where to draw a line. Nobody knows where to draw a line. And if you get all this more, more, finally, then what are you going to do with this more? Absolutely. Look at Mr. Jujuwala who died. Yeah. Who Akashe. He lodged Akashe this week. Next week he died. Yes. 60 plus somewhere. 
for me that was tragic and he, he built such a huge company he was advisor for the shares and stocks everybody yeah. used to listen to his talk and his shouting and everything even it was his dream baby to start an airline for akash so what just few days to see the airline coming up he's gone so you need to take care of your health health and wellness is very important in the health of your body and your mind matters the most more than the money more than everything else absolutely as uh, matthew said uh, remember if you are a part of a, of the goa marathon you know it may be the starting point of your life where you turn your life itself into a marathon in terms of longevity living your life so matthew uh, thank you very much uh, for encouraging so many people thank for you. organizing this marathon and i'm sure with uh, you in the forefront uh, they are going to cross the finishing line thank, thank you. you so much welcome The Minister for Sports, Government of Goa, Sri Govind Gowde, is a fitness enthusiast himself, and he has lots to say about the Goa Marathon. Namaskar, EL Shadai Charitable Trust, and the Goa Athlete Association, and the Jod Palwan, Ghodon Hattat. गोवा मैरोथॉन 2023 है जी 12 फेब्रुवारी 2023 गोवा यूनिवर्सिटी चो ग्राउंड जो आसा तंचान मिरामार ते परत गोवा यूनिवर्सिटी ग्राउंड आचर ते जो समारोह बजट लो हो जो मैरोथॉन जो आज घोड़न हटता तो एक नोबल कोजा कथिर अत्यंत महत्वाचा करना कथिर घोड़न हटता जे आज खूब जैका घर ना मैं होम फॉर होमलेस आप फॉर होपलेस आंडर प्रिवलेज जी हम भूगी जी आसा तधारा खीर व आज गोवा मैरोथॉन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंट्री घड़न हाड़ा मुझे सग्या गोयकार आहान आसा हा मैरोथॉना भर तुम्हें पार्टिसिपेट जाए तरीचो जो कद तं जो हाथों घो आसा तो यशस्वी करपा खाती तुम्हें तुम्हें कंट्रीब्यूशन दिवचे माणुसकी दृष्टिकोनात हा चेरिटेबल ट्रस्टा कड़न तुम्हें पे समस्त गोयकार भारतीय मजे आहान जो आ You know there are people from around Goa and around the country who participate in the Goa Marathon for many years now. The Tourism Minister, Government of Goa, Sri Rohan Kaunte himself, is an enthusiast for the Goa Marathon. Here he is saying lots more. Hello, friends. Al Shadai Charitable Trust, along with Goa Athletic Association, is uh, organizing the marathon event on the 12th of February 2023. The whole theme of supporting the uh, supporting the uh, cause of home for the homeless and hope for the hopeless is something what el shadai charitable trust has been doing and in this 10th year they have, as they go ahead with the marathon it gives us two things our prime minister's uh, vision of fit india gives a lot of message that we need to be fit by uh, in various forms by using various forms of sports and marathon today plays a big part in your whole life keeping you fitter keeping you healthier and as we take this as a new way of life i call upon all of you to come in large numbers and participate to help them support the cause and at the same time to remain fit so let's uh, spread the word come in large numbers and be there to uh, run on that on the 12th of feb 2023 and support the cause of goa marathon supported by el shadai charitable trust and uh, the goa athletic association thank you He is a person who can surely help you in the spiritual side of life. He is here now to encourage you for the fitness side of life. Istano, home for homeless, hope for hopeless. With this motto, Goa Marathon 2023 is taking place. Bharat Arkir February Ache. It is being organized by El Shaddai Charitable Trust in association with Goa Athletic Association. या दिसक आम्ही धावया 
for a cause so that we give home for homeless and hope for hopeless goa university ground air town suru jatale anik magir mukhar betale and when we run for cause yes uh, we do something good so au sagle vinanti karta bahir sariya bharat arker ya marathonan vanto geuya amche goinche pasot amche goincho messages ya disak bahir sarundi let us run for goa let us run for the homeless let us run for hopeless see you there on 12th february at goa university ground India's ambassador of the Fado genre of music Sonia Sirsat is also a fan of the Goa Marathon. I'm sure you would love to listen what she has to say. Hi, this is Sonia Sirsat and I'm here this time on behalf of HRI Charitable Trust because they are having the Goa Marathon on the 12th of February in association with the Goa Athletic Association. There're going to be about 8500 participants. and it's the 10th edition of this goa marathon so i urge you all who have a lot to participate in marathons don't miss on the 12th of february in panchal if you want to register there's a link mentioned in the description box go ahead and click all the best for goa marathon one of the most famous names in the field of films and theater is prince jacob and he is another person who is surely going to be present at the goa marathon and he wants you to get there as well hi friends i am prince jacob our beautiful goa is a hub of art and natural beauty but many times our negligence can destroy it i am happy to announce that al sadai charitable trust is organizing the 10th edition of goa marathon and will highlight goa's unique culture so let's come and join it and let's save goa and say viva goa a little bit about this organization that has done so much for the underprivileged for more than two decades and the man behind the mission has literally run a marathon in this sphere of life Matthew Kurian from Al Shaddai. Uh, Matthew, away away from uh, marathon, uh, going down memory lane. You are one of those uh, very rare persons who who has immersed yourself into public and social life, and to to make a day and the life of so many people, uh, you know, better, including slum dwellers. So tell us a little bit of about your journey. Yeah. So I, when I was a young boy, I thought I'll become a priest. with the intention of talking to people about love and but it didn't happen i became an atheist and i got a bit of drugs and messed up life and left my home so my life gone beyond i can manage it's gone beyond that so i was a bit of sick of myself because it's it's going nowhere so one night i was drunk i was sleeping in a bus shelter um next day morning i got up and i sat there look out to uh, see that everybody has somewhere to go all neatly dressed fresh and i looked at myself i'm wearing a clothes that i've been wearing for many days <laughs> i didn't have bath for many days so i asked to myself what's wrong with you i mean everybody seems to be having a place to go and you have no way to go so i asked this question what's wrong with you and if they all can make life why can't you and i used to look at society as hypocrites everybody is hypocrite nobody is genuine so that morning i thought i also join and become a hypocrite because i have to make my life i cannot go so i got up and had a bath change the clothes change the clothes and wash the clothes and put it on myself went for a job i got a very small job working in a chai shop cleaning the tables so i did it joyfully <laughs> so then i seen that there are hotel industry and uh, there are five star hotels so i asked to myself what the heck i should not be working in small places i should move up i went and joined for 12th again finished 12th then i went to hotel management course and i moved up to a very big hotel and uh, in 2 3 years i became the hotel manager oh. but i still had um, uh, this issue of drugs you know smoking every day and uh, 
stressed, always very stressed, but can't had, get sleep. You had already left the bottle. I uh, left the bottle, yeah. but otherwise. Like that great song, uh, which we all know, message in a bottle. I think you got a <laughs> message through that. <laughs> so then something happened, my life was again transformed. I start tasting success and things improved. So uh, I, you know, when I really got actively involved with the purpose in my life, my passion for drugs gone. It's no longer a requirement. Of course, I give up drugs. Um, then I thought, there are people like me, you know, why can't I help them? But I was only 25. I thought I'll take a break and I'll work for a few years, people like me, to help people like me. So I went for college again for a degree course and I finished and at the age of 28 I came to Goa with the dream of reaching out to alcoholics and drug addicts. My hope, everybody was alcoholic. My father, his brothers and all never went to work. Hit the bottle, sell the properties. <laughs> so it's, it's a traumatized home yeah. and I myself was on drugs. So I gave up, I came here for with the purpose of staying here for five years to help alcoholics and drug addicts. So I used to go to Tito's and St. Anthony's and Bharat and all these places where they hang out. So what were the first big challenges that you faced? It was all fun. I used to make friendship with them because I was a druggie, so yeah. I know how to talk to them. I used to invite them, they'll come and stay with me, then I'll talk to them about you know, how life is turning around and uh, the importance of giving up and if somebody wants to give up, they'll come and stay with me, I'll help them through withdrawal. Conversation plays a big role. Yeah, yeah. Dialogues, yeah. I mean, that's the most. And many of them died in HIV oh. and overdose. Only very, very few changed. So that time I met a slum dweller, one Lamani, which I never seen Lamanis in the past. And I was very fascinated talking to them. I realized none of them ever been to school. Yeah. They're like the scum of earth, like you know, everybody treats them. So and they're well. a migratory lot. Migrant, they're all migrants. And, uh, I think goats have some amount of goodness that they all come to go. I am surprised you don't see them in Bangalore or Hubli or Belgium, they all come to Goa. I think goats have much more kind hearted, so a lot of Lamanis in Goa. So I met this slum dweller, start talking and uh, I went to the slums and saw the way they live. I was horrified. Even now I feel horrified. Goa one side is so beautiful. But if you go to the back area of the beaches of Kalangu, the Kandoli, why you in Panjim? Omar Gao, that's a huge slum. People live in such a pathetic So, uh, what, what uh, the reality that hit you was the untold stories of Goa. Oh, untold stories of Goa. And I, I saw these people, I said, this can't be right because they are also my fellow Indians. Yes. In legally and citizenship wise, they have equal rights. Exactly. Have, but they have no access to education, no access to health or well being. They have no idea about how the world works. Yeah. So I start working with them, teaching them family planning, health and hygiene, importance of not having too many children, how to go to doctor, why is education is important. Yeah. So some people listen and I send some children to schools. The first boy I send to school, his name is Arjun, he's in America. Wow. His brother is Sandosh, he's just got married and got a baby. Uh, so it really I gives you pride and sensation, very much, I can very see much, that. Very much. So over the years, 30 years I've been doing, thousands and thousands of children's lives been transformed. It's such a joy to see anywhere I go, I will see somebody who has been benefited by El Shaddai. So in 30 years, we, I've been running this charity called El Shaddai with the slogan of loving, caring, sharing. Yeah. Love the unlovable, care for the ones who nobody care, share the goodness of God and man with people who never experienced. That's my... So, slogan. Yeah. So, we have helped more than 70,000 children to come out of fabulous. the messed up life. Thousands of families. Even this COVID time, we gave away 2 million food packets. Oh. And Fantastic. probably 30, 40 or 50,000 families we give ration get. Uh, COVID was a bad time, but at the same time, it was a beautiful time to experience the goodness of people's heart. Yeah. I had truckloads of food being sent by people who I never know to give away to the poor. So that's what else should I. So my heartthrob really is, real heartthrob, real passion is to help people to find themselves. Yeah. Even this marathon. Sometimes you can live working hard and making money and get into all your busy schedule of wife, family, children, work, and you, your soul get malnourished. Yeah. You become so weak or you become fat or maybe 
unhealthy and you miss out your life. So, Sir. the marathon is all about creating an awareness in the lives of the people. Hey, you are more important than your family. Yes. In, in your journey, uh, what would you say about the collective awareness of society uh, towards uh, the, the underprivileged? Uh, has it increased or bettered uh, yeah. over the years? Uh, over the years, I would say that the people have become more kind-hearted. People have learned to give. Yeah. See, we have a caste system, so most of the people who are in need is low caste. And then we have a state, you know, what so-called nationalism, whatever it is. Irregionalism. Like, like, you know, Goan is not like Kennedy, Kennedy is not like Maharashtra, Maharashtra is not like Telugu. That should change. I mean, so most of the people who need care and protections are the poor section of the community and they come to places like Goa. Mm. And they get very marginalized, treated very badly. Overall, I will say, Goans are much better. And when I started, I used to do fundraising only among the two Europeans. But now I do more of my fundraising among the locals. Nearly 50% of all our funds come from the locals. So people are learning to give compared to earlier. People are earlier we were kind hearted, but we are more God connected. We give to gods. Yeah. But we don't give to the poor. The poor we say, that's your karma, you know, you you are low caste, you are silly, you are stupid. Even I feed people every day in the streets. Every day nearly thousand meals we give. Some people complain that you are giving food, that's why they become alcoholic, that's why they come in the street. But the fact is, do you go to the street to leave because you have no food? A person end up in the street, living on the road because he lost his complete dignity. Yeah. And he doesn't know how to figure out. So, we give one meal. You know, once you food in your stomach, your brains are thinking. Yeah. <laughs> if the food is not in the stomach, and if you don't know where the next meal comes, that's that's the natural human instinct or animal instinct in us. Look for food first. So we are trying to feed them, we are trying to talk to them, empower them. We run seven children's so home. We also have a home for the homeless men, free. We have a home for the homeless women, free. Anywhere you know, anybody who is homeless or no food, Contact us, we are happy to provide for them. Where do we get? Don't worry, we got food <laughs> and shelter for everybody who needs it. There you go, food and shelter for everyone who needs it. And in case uh, you have the heart and mind uh, to be in the same boat, uh, he's already welcomed you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Matthew uh, Kurian. Thank and, you. Uh, and I can conclude by saying that he's a man who works with his mind but speaks from his heart. <laughs> Matthew Kurian, thank you for joining Possible, me. very true. <laughs> So remember, Sunday 12th February 2023, as the sun rises at Goa University, all roads and vehicles and yourselves lead to the Goa Marathon 2023.